Hi guys, this is Wirehead King, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to composite an ocean in Blender 2.61. So if you haven't seen the first two tutorials, they'll be in the description, maybe there'll be some annotations, uh, I don't quite know yet. Um, but yeah, you know, you can find them on my channel. So, let's get into this then. Um, first of all, uh, to start the compositing, uh, we're going to need to start setting up some depth of field. So if we... Um, come over to the camera and tick limits that will let us display where the depth of field is and you can see that we've got uh, ooh, zooming out I'm zoom in uh, you can see that we've got um, this sort of uh, weird line behind the camera if we just increase the distance under the depth of field thing uh, to about 120 you can see that that moves and basically that means that the camera is focusing at this distance or, or whatever is at this distance and um, you can always focus it on a certain object, like um, this cube one, and it's focusing on uh, the origin of the second uh, part of ocean, the medium quality one. Um, but yeah, that's fine, we may as well have it at that, because it makes no difference really. So, um, now that we've done that, uh, in some cases you might want to set up render layers. I've got a tutorial that sort of teaches you how to use them, um, but... I'm not going to use them. In fact, uh, yes, I am. So we've got the ocean render layer here. Uh, I, we, well, I made this before I started this tutorial. It's very simple. It's just an ocean with uh, the first layer selected, and it's we're going to deselect sky for it. In the second render layer, in fact, no, we want to keep sky actually. Wait, um, yeah. In the second render layer, um, we're going to want to just have some layer that isn't selected like that one and we're going to want sky on as well for that and this is going to be called sky there we go and now if we uh, have both of these layers selected uh, we can now render them so if we render this I'm just going to pause the video um, now Okay, so it's now rendered, and this is what it looks like. So if we just jump to the compositor by pressing Control left arrow, um, yeah, you can see we've got this. Just tick Use Nodes and Backdrop, and you can see we've got, uh, you know, these two nodes here. And, uh, you know, I'm hoping you know the compositor, and, uh, you know, at least know the basics of how it works, don't have to go over that. Basically, a brief description, you've got the outputs of a node and an input of a node. Uh, the inputs can only have one thing, the output can go to anything it likes. So, you know, you can see we've got two there, but if we were to try and uh, put two things in the inputs, it won't work. So, um, yeah, that's what that is. Okay, so, um, yeah, let's get into it. So, the first thing we're going to want to do is add um, atmospheric falloff. And this is, if we go to vector, we can choose map value. And, oh, um, yeah, let me just explain to you what it is. Uh, atmospheric falloff is basically where the, uh, sort of like, the background, which is our sky, sort of bleeds into the image, um, or the foreground. It's sort of hard to explain, but, you know, you can see some, uh, images of it. Just type in atmospheric falloff in Google Images and you should see some. Um, but basically we're going to put the Z value from the render layer into the map value and if I just make another viewer and put the Z into the image we can now see we've got this pure white thing if I just make that bigger um, the way we do this is if we take use minimum and use maximum we can decrease the offset and what that will do uh, as you can see is the ocean, you'll see these this sort of black stuff appear and if we decrease the size to something really small like 0 0.01 you can see um, sort of fades into the white Let's just increase that so 0 0.01 rather than that okay and just keep decreasing the offset until you get to near the back of the ocean I might just put in that extra whoops 0 0.005 actually not let's just go for the, the full thing um, let me just increase the offset now so that it goes all the way to the white there we go you can see how this is uh, working, I hope. Just, um, in fact, that's not going to do anything. Uh, just double this, so we've got that, and then you can uh, use the asterisk, I think it's called, and then two, and I'll just double that, 
and you can keep whoops you can just keep doing that um yeah we go and uh, just decrease the offset now okay there we go so what we've basically done there is we've uh basically the further it goes the more white it is and um we're going to use this as a factor to then add this uh, atmospheric fall off so if we just add a color mix node like that we can put this value into the factor or it will say fact but it's, that stands for factor and then the image of our render layer into the top thing and then we can put that into this viewer here and as you can see we've got that whiteness and we can actually keep that as white and see why not um, but you know you can set this to if we want to make a nice pink color you can see how that uh, how it affects it we can see you've got this pink and then the end of the ocean looks a bit pink as well and this helps not only for reflections but you know it works for when there's quite a bit of distance in your scenes uh, so as in like maybe a mountain range uh, you know the mountains at the back will sort of blend into the background um, but yeah so it's quite a useful thing you can use okay so now that we've done that we need to reapply our image so that's quite simple just going to duplicate this render layer yeah, make it the sky and then put a color mix add or alpha over even just add one of those color alpha over um, these are I forget how to use these sometimes right we're gonna want this at the bottom and sky at the top and I think that'll make it work if just put that in yeah there we go um just sort of the factor you might want to just uh oh yeah um if you think that uh you know the white is a bit too strong like i do here um it's you know because the factor has been taken up it's sort of hard to use that what we want to do is just decrease this use maximum so the less this is like if we set it to 0.1 you can see there's barely any whiteness if we leave it at one there's a lot of it and um yeah so if just it's about 0.5 maybe even 0.25 yeah you can see uh, just getting a small fade like that um, we might also just move the camera a bit because the horizon looks like it's sort of you know a bit too early when it comes with matching the sky so yeah um, uh, yeah the next thing I'm going to want to add is some depth of field and just, uh, yeah so we just move over there quite a simple effect it's basically where where the camera's not focusing it's all blurry and uh yeah that's why it's called defocus because it's yeah defocusing so we've got the alpha over into the image and we want the z from our render layer into the z there and yep as you can see it's gone all fuzzy and horrible if we tick use z buffer it goes all nice again and if we d tick preview um it will get nice softer depth of field so if we decrease the f-stop to about 10, you can see that, uh, well, it's actually not done much at all. Um, I've said to 1, that might help. There we go. You can see it's gone blurry in the front here. Um, and you know, if we set it to 100, it goes less blurry. So the lower this is, the more blurry the image is. Uh, we're going to set it to about 5. Nice strong depth of field. Hasn't done much, but I don't care. Um, yeah, so... Well, that's actually the compositing done for the more advanced stuff you might want to do some color correction like uh, just put in a color balance there it is um, I think with oceans it's nice to get an orange tint for the lighter parts and a sort of bluish tint for the darker parts and it just sort of yeah just make that orange and make that blue a bit more there we go uh, I might add a vignette actually yeah let's add a vignette I don't think I've ever taught people yeah I have actually I've taught people how to use a vignette okay or how to make a vignette anyway so basically what we do is we go to color converter math set this to greater than and you can set this value here to zero put the image output from the color balance into the top value uh, so you should have the top value then the second one's just zero and uh, if you know how this works it basically say if there's anything above the value of zero uh, then it will just be completely white and because zero is completely black then yeah if you have got something you've seen is completely black you can set that to minus one and then everything will be white but you may as well set that to zero anyway okay so um uh yeah that's how that works we're now going to uh, add a lens distortion though so if we go to distort lens distortion 
and then we set the just whoops, one there in the image. Hang on, there we go. If we then set the distort to one, you can see that we've got this nice circle going around all the edges of our scene. Now if we add a filter whoops filter blur node, we're gonna want to set this to fast Gaussian. Any other blur usually looks quite yucky in any case. Um okay, so there are two things you can do from here. You can either uh, change it like this to like 250 by 250 that's usually what people do or you can tick relative and do around 75 by 75 and just mess around with that I honestly prefer this method um, but you know it's all down to you and what you want to do so uh, just bring that over here um, now that we've got that done last thing we're going to do is add a mix mo uh, mix node set it to multiply and if we just put this on the bottom like that and look through this viewer um, you haven't s you can't really see much of a difference if it sets to 2 though you will there we go um, but we don't want that, we're going to leave it at 1 alright so yeah from here you can actually do uh, what you like as in um, you can make some really interesting vignettes like you can uh, if we just get a color invert node you can get the image from the blur and uh, put that into the factor and um, yeah what this will then allow you to do is maybe make a red vignette something like that um, you can see it sort of fades out to red um, yellow any color basically uh, the darker it is the more clear it is so dark green uh, doesn't really shut too well well in a scene I made yesterday when I sort of just well, figured out you could do this the darker it was the clearer but seems in this scene it's not okay uh, and you can add textures as well to make weird things um, but yeah I'm not, I'm not gonna bother with that we're just gonna have that there okay so yeah that's the compositing done I suppose um, yeah I might just uh, change the camera angle and then that will be it for the ocean so if we just go back to that you can see the difference it's made it's basically got a bit darker um, and it's also got a bit of depth of field so it just looks a bit nicer um, so I'm just going to rotate the camera like I said and whoops yeah there we go and I can also move it backwards uh, like that And if we just uh, go to the camera here and change the end to 1200, because I actually. F oh, no, that's fine. Right, no, 1, one two, 3. I'm uh, just going to rotate it just a bit so it sort of misses out that actual real ocean that the sky's got. So it's about there. I think that's it. Uh, what does the render result look like? Whoops. Uh, where's it? Um. UV image editor uh yeah so just changing it a bit alright so if I just pause the video while I render this alright then there we go so yep that's the final ocean so thanks for watching comment rate subscribe um, follow me on twitter visit my website which I am changing uh, well technically no I it's an abandoned website don't bother visiting it um, yeah that's about it so yeah please do subscribe oh and also click on well if look at the adverts on the side of this video and if there's one before it and if it you know if it interests you please click on it because it helps me out it helps youtube out or google in general and it might also help you out so you know please do click on that um yeah so thanks for watching and goodbye <laughs>